160. He's gone. What's up, guys? Today we're here in the garage and we're going to replace this old technology with this new technology. This is the Rain Machine Forecast Sprinkler. Um, it's basically an IoT box that runs your sprinkler system. Very similar to how, for instance, the Nest runs the AC in my house. And uh, the reason we're doing this is that, first of all, you guys love tech. I love tech. Nobody really likes old style crap in their house anymore. And the biggest problem with these hunter systems is this one came with the house when I bought it. And as you can see, no matter what we do, the screen is dead. And every now and then, so when I bought the house, this thing broke after about two months. I went on eBay and I bought a new kind of head unit for it. It's real easy to replace. You can see there's just a ribbon cable here. And I replaced it and that worked okay for another like eight or nine months. And then right before the wet season here in, uh, in uh, Texas started, which is kind of like late winter, early spring, this thing got hit by lightning again or whatever. I don't really know, but it fucking died again. And so instead of spending another $40 and getting another head unit, I decided to spend $120 and get this guy. And so today we're basically just going to take this off, reconfigure it so it works with our rain machine. And hopefully we can get back to uh, watering the lawn now that summer's here. Uh, and hopefully all my grass doesn't die. So I'm really excited for this. I just love stuff like this where I can just be like whip out my phone and be like two degrees colder without having to leave uh, the computer while I'm gaming or whatever. And this is the same thing. I want my sprinklers to come on when they need to come on. I don't want to have to worry about coming out of the garage and turning it off when it's been raining. And you know, it's just, and I don't want to be the asshole neighbor whose sprinklers are going on in the middle of the thunderstorm. And so that's what technology allows you to do. It allows you to not be the asshole neighbor. So let's get this thing back over here on the workbench and uh, unbox it. So this is the Rain Machine Forecast Sprinkler. Uh, basically, this is exactly how it came, plus a little bit of uh, saran wrap. So we're just going to go ahead and slide this uh, little cover off here, set it aside. Now let's take a look at what's in our box. So installation guide, literally four steps. Bolt the thing to the wall hook up all of your values, power it up, and uh, join it to the Wi-Fi uh, and get it fucking going. So there's a user manual in here as well. So we're gonna set those aside. This, I assume, is the rain machine itself. And so you guys saw how big that, uh, that hunter unit is. Look how small and petite this is. I mean, this is literally fits behind my hand. And so, um, you just pop this little cover off and these are where all your wires go and it's nice because you can just basically push the button down feed the wire in and it locks in and there's a little reset button here and that's it everything else you uh do from your phone so let's see what else is in here all that's left in this box is uh yep yeah, that's it all we got in here is two wall screws to hold this thing to the wall and a basic 24 volt uh, AC transformer that we're going to hook up uh, in a little bit. So first things first, we got to take the old one down and we got to figure out where um, which of those wires go where and we're going to just tag them all up so that when we reinstall this guy, we can uh, make sure all of the all the grids still line up with what they were before. So there it is installed. As you can see, I had to extend the uh, wires that go up to the power brick. Um, that's kind of just unique for my situation. First time you boot it up, it's going to get stuck on the letter A. Now that we have everything wired up, there is one caveat. I had a power master valve wire. Not everyone will have one, but I had one. And if you have one, you have to hook it up to zone one. The problem was I had a power master plus eight zones. So I just wired zones one and two together because they're actually kind of small. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the play store here and in the play store, we are going to search for the rain machine app and then we are going to download it. So there it is rain machine by green electronics. We're going to go ahead and install the app. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Wi-Fi and we're going to disconnect from my Wi-Fi and we're going to connect to Rain Machine and we're going to hit connect. And this is important because this will allow the the app to actually configure that because it's all through Wi-Fi. So now that we're connected to the Rain Machine, we can open up the Rain Machine app, tap on setup. So let's just redo this real quick just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Got an IP. So we're going to do setup. 
and follow the installation wizard configure network location blah blah blah. So continue tap on any of the backlit touch buttons from the rain machine device. And you can see this has changed to one. So we're just going to tap that random button. Touch detected. And so now we're going to add it to this. And I'm going to jump ahead here real quick so you guys don't see my password. Here we go. We are connecting to Wi-Fi. And the phone connected to Wi-Fi. And so now we get to name it. I'm going to name it uh, Max Sprinkler. And again, I'm going to hide my password from you guys. And you save it. And there we go. So now we have our rain machine and today is July 6th and it is in fact 641 America. In order to be able remotely you need to provide a valid email address. For your own security a verification has been sent. Uh, so right now it's telling me I'm out. My firmware is out of date so we're just going to go ahead and do update now. Mode access has been confirmed. So you can see there's a U up there right now because this is updating. So we're just going to let this uh, do its firmware update for a minute. So now we can uh, create a new program that the update's done. So we're going to title the program General. We're going to enable weather data, which is the cool thing, right? Because it's going to be checking the forecast. Um, we're going to say we want to water every three days. And start time, we want to be around 4 a.m. here in Texas before the sun comes out. And you have the option for cycle and soak, and cycle and soak, if I remember, uh, splits the base watering duration into multiple cycles, allowing you to soak in. We don't need that because all of my zones are separate. Uh, I don't need any sort of delay between the zones either. And so we can hit zone one, and zone one is actually, so for those of you who have uh, a master valve like mine, you have to hook it up to point one and like up here, you go, this is the, the programs, but you go over to the zones and you hit edit zone. And you can see right here, there's an enable, disable master valve. And you have to enable it and it allows you to start the master valve, which is the main control valve, 30 seconds before, 30 seconds after uh, the water flows. So now we should be able to go back and, you know, we should be able to do, so there you go. Section one which is the front right, the sprinklers are coming on. The reason they weren't coming on a few minutes ago was because I um, I'd had to turn off the water to the whole irrigation system uh, a little while back because I had, uh, I had a water leak and so I had to figure out where it was. And so I had to turn that off as a safety measure just to make sure you know it wasn't in the sprinkler system and then I, I never turned it back on. So this is right grass, uh, which is all the way over there. So now I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna uh, double check all of the make sure that they all work and they all are all what they say they are but it's really cool because now I have all the zones in my phone and I can just set it to run every few days without it having to be much of a problem so I'm gonna go and check all these real quick uh, and then I'll give you guys some final thoughts on what I think about this rain machine mini 8 system there's not a ton of gripes but there are a few and they are kind of annoying uh, the first thing is there's not a very good cable management system um, you basically always have your wires running out of like a tube um, just like they are in my house and you can see I just kind of zip tied it together could you do a better job than I did in the rush yeah absolutely but I would have liked to see some sort of sheath or some sort of connector between the body and the standard PVC uh, pipe where they come in that's pretty pretty standard you know the form factor is nice the touch screen is nice uh, the app itself is nice uh, however, in terms of setup, I was, again, because I had the main power valve, and what that is, is there's actually a, a primary valve that turns on all of the water to the whole system, and not all sprinkler systems have it, but it is a good uh, safety feature to have, um, and not a big deal, you have to go into the app and turn on zone one as the power valve, but it's like, well, okay, so I got to... I, there were nowhere in the instructions that it explained that. I found one small link online that allowed me to track down how to do that. And there weren't any pictures or any explanation, but I managed to figure it out. So I guess it's not that bad. But I would have preferred that to be, that should have been in the user manual. You know, if you have a power main valve, this is how you configure it. You know, it would have been like one line. It would have made life a lot easier. The other thing is that when you do that, you lose one of your eight zones. And eight zones is is already like fairly limited um, you know that $60 hunter unit had 10 zones built into it you know uh, 
in terms of logic or circuit board, there's really no reason for it to have eight zones instead of 10 or 12 or even 14 zones. Um, they're just little transistors acting like a little relay, just passing a little bit of current to that valve. But all in all, I'm pretty happy. Um, the price I paid was a slick deal, front page deal. So it was about 130 bucks shipped to my door from Newegg. Uh, you know, in terms of say uh, Google or uh, yeah, I guess it's a Google Nest now. In terms of Google Nest, which is like 200 bucks, um, that's pretty decent. Uh, you know, I would say it's fairly priced. There might be some cheaper solutions out there, but this is uh, kind of a Google Nest equivalent well-known name brand item uh, and so I'm going to use it for a little while uh, I do like the fact that I can log in from my phone or from the internet and change things if I need to put it on water restrictions if I need to which we often do here in Texas uh, so all in all I'm pretty happy with the uh, with the product like I said a little better instruction manual a little easier setup would have been nice but it wasn't that big of a deal also when you're installing a new controller make sure you open up the actual water valve to your sprinklers and uh, otherwise you walk around for a few minutes scratching your head as to why they're not working uh, ask me how I know but all in all I think it's a really good product um, I would say if you're a geek and it's worth the money to you to have a quality IOT uh, controller for your um, sprinkler system do it no hesitation uh, does it is it really that much better than the hunter system well we're gonna wait till the first storm and see if it explodes just like the old hunter did and if it does, then I'm going to go with no, but if it uh, stands up, last me, you know, five years, I would say, is, is a reasonable thing to expect. Uh, I'll be pretty happy with it. So, I hope you guys like this install and review video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at MaxWorks, Facebook at MaxWorks. Uh, shoot me a Snapchat at MaxWorks. I'm always uh, open to taking questions, uh, comments from you guys. Leave me a note. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Peace. I'll see you guys later.